uh, uh, you know, uh, fiscal fiscal responsibility debt debt limitation. debt limitation act. I triggered it. I brought Tarek Hassan from World Bank. They normally do not allow to go to your own uh, country. Mr. Uh, President Wolferson request you know asked me that if you need any human resource, we understand you overwork. So I, I said, give this man to us. We started that this good thing. We imposed ourselves, you know, 60 percent. The law was rolled out obviously after the coup. But you see, then we campaign worldwide that we are we are debt trap. Can somebody tell me what is the uh, U.S. Uh, debt to GDP? 110 percent. UK after post COVID, 101 percent. Japan, 257. I never see any politician or any media house talking there that we are a debt trap country. Is this the difference? Is that they can print dollars, that they can print sterling, that they can print yen, and they can't, and we can't, and the rupee is not the global. See, let me, let's let's please, for heaven's sake, the politics must be detached from this uh, uh, from this uh, uh, you know uh, economy. We, it, uh, um, I don't know. I'm I'm being sometimes emotional, but I, I feel hurt. The country which was going to be part of G20. In few years' time, there should have been collective effort to reduce the timeline, and it would have been possible with the speed we were. The country was moving on, but somehow, you know, we are there. Uh, it's never too late. I think you campaign with your media partners and colleagues. <laughs> Please force us that you go on that right, on that path, have start of the economy, and move the country back to where it was 2017. I think this is very important and I recognize, we recognize that you have been uh, I think championing this cause of ch uh, Charter of Economy for many years and uh, on behalf of uh, at least Prime Institute I can submit uh, that in the future, in next, uh, you know, we, we are please uh, going to elections, uh, whenever we go to next elections, we will be actually working. Uh, on the chart of economy, and we'll come back to you uh, with your uh, inputs, and of course, other political parties would be involved in that process also. Um, and, and certainly, I think this is, this is very important. And moving on, I just want to, you know, you mentioned about the currency, um, and I just want to pick up the, 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 the sound money theme. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I, I know yeah, you're, you're very, uh, also uh, sensitive on that point, but I just want to hear your views. گفتگو کر رہے تھے اس وقت وہ چند سوالوں کے جواب بھی دے رہے ہیں اور ٹیکس وصول سے متعلق انہوں نے بڑی اہم بات کی اور ظاہر ہے ٹیکس وصولی پاکستان کا ایک بڑا مسئلہ رہا ہے ایک پیچیدہ مسئلہ رہا ہے اس پر حکومتیں بہت کام بھی کرتی آئی ہیں پاکستان واز ان پیک سسٹم ٹل اکٹوبر نائنٹین putting and fixing the economy, fixing the economy. It is we, I was finance minister, it is PMLN which actually started 80-20, 60-40, 20-80 and then 100% market based. By, in the first quarter of 1999, first time mm -hmm. Pakistan went on interbank, what we call real effective exchange rate. My problem is that in any, any system, it's not only Pakistan, there are certain speculators, gamblers, hundiwalas, who take the country's currency as a hostage. If the state does not come in play, I think then what will happen is what has happened now. See the recent, uh, did Bank of England not intervene? Did Bangladesh did not, not intervene? India recently intervened. Why? India could afford out of 600 odd billion reserves that throw 98 billion in the market. We don't have that luxury. So we, we have to make sure that these abuses must be checked. And I think the multilateral have to understand this is neither Bank of England or Federal Reserve that we can afford that if it goes outside the band or below the band and they intervene and spend whatever they spend or buy whatever they buy, we have constraint of forex reserves. So the only tool you have is the, you know, making sure that such things do not happen. We have recently started operation. Just as of last 24 hours, we, we our, our customs have, have caught one single person in, in Chaman border. Hundred thousand uh, dollars he was uh, smuggling is is being smuggled across across the border. 
can we afford that we have with, with these small very or urea which we import and the local price courtesy as a cheap uh, provision of gas to those fertilizer companies obviously then cost of uh, you know produced and the manufactured fertilizer is less but when we import local price is 2600 the imported price is 6500 to 7000 so we subsidize because obviously we can't sell that they export this is imported is 7000 and this is imported is 2300 to the farmer that imported, which means the, the one loss is foreign change spending, second loss is the subsidy which the state is giving, and the imported stuff is being smuggled out to uh, uh, neighboring countries and through neighboring countries, Central Asian states. So you see, these these are the things. So I, so I, we have left the uh, uh, you know the currency on its own natural flow, but the speculative part has to be checked. As I said, you know we have launched operation. There is a huge. Uh, smuggling of your US dollars, you are buying uh, uh, coal uh, from a neighboring country in rupees. The rupees come to Pakistan territory in Peshawar or other other uh, borders and they buy your dollars and pay 15, 20 rupees extra. So, you know, these things have been checked. So, it's a, so these things are happening ever since Taliban took.